Muchas gracias, Mesa de Análisis. Y acabamos de tomar la victoria Leviatán Latam que se encuentra. Uno será el día de hoy. Y estoy aquí con Tex para hablar de esta victoria para lo que ha sido la Levianeta, eh, que era un Tex que jugaba en contra de su equipo anterior. Eh, y quiero hablar de si tal vez eso ayudaba a que fuera un poco más fácil leerlos, leer el estilo de IGL de, de Bali, no simplemente saber lo que iba a hacer G2 en alguna de estas rondas. Tex, congratulations for this win. Uh, this was a match against your previous team, the team that you lifted the Ascension Trophy with. So I want to ask, when you're facing them, is it a little bit easier to, you know, maybe recognize the, the way that Valen makes those calls or the way that they're going to play and make it easier for you to get the win? Yeah, for sure. They've definitely advanced as players. Obviously, they're, they're, they're much better than they were before. But, um, you know, they still have their tendencies. I think every player has their tendencies and it's really hard to shake it off. And, you know, I do know them pretty well and I do know how Valen calls and I do know how Trent and Jonah play. You know, I know exactly how they play. So it definitely gives us a little advantage for sure. Dice que sí, efectivamente, ellos son un equipo que ha logrado avanzar, que han evolucionado como todos los jugadores, pero que aún así hay, hay algunas cosas que se quedan, que siguen haciendo igualmente. Eh, y, por ejemplo, sabe la forma en la que Valen ca, eh, calea, sabe la forma en la que los jugadores individualmente juegan y eso intentaba ayudarles a dar una ventaja. Ahora, para mi siguiente pregunta, es un text que si recordamos el año pasado cuando jugaban Challengers, jugaba solamente el rol de duelista bajo The Guard. ¿Cómo ha sido este proceso de adaptación a unos roles diferentes con el que lo hemos visto? Last year, we uh, just got to see you playing duelist. You were playing duelist for the guard the whole time. And this year, we're seeing you play a lot more. You're, you're playing the, the Sentinel. You're playing the Initiator. You're giving us a lot of variety. So how has it been for you to adapt to these new agents? Yeah, it's definitely weird to play. I mean, usually I'm, I'm an opper. Like, I was an opper before all of this. Um, so I was really working on my op for the longest time. And now I'm a rifler. I'm a lurker. I play Initiator. So... It's basically the exact opposite of what I was doing before. Um, and it was a little hard to adjust in the beginning, um, but I think I've been working really hard, honestly. I watch a lot of VODs. I work a lot on my setups and I work a lot on just my own game because I know I'm, I was kind of behind at first uh, compared to other Sentinels, um, but I definitely think uh, I'm coming around. Sí, nos dice que sí, al inicio fue difícil, era un jugador que solamente jugaba con la Operator, era conocido por eso, era en lo que se sentía cómodo, así que fue un poco raro ese proceso de adaptación, pero que estudió mucho, que se preparó mucho, que veía muchos bots, que se aseguraba de que podía adelantarse, él reconocía que especialmente comparado con otros centinelas estaba un poco atrás, así que el trabajo duro eh, es lo que ha estado haciendo más que nada para, para llegar al nivel en el que está ahora. Ahora, eh, G2 decía que Leviathan es tal vez el equipo favorito de Américas, si tiene alguna predicción de los tres equipos, equipos que van a clasificar a Shanghai, aparte de, digamos, un Leviathan que ya estuviera dentro. In a, uh, do you basically make it through playoffs after this win? So, in a, in a world where you are making it to Shanghai, who are the other two teams that are making it with you? I think the other two teams that'll make it will be us, NRG, and mm, 100 Thieves. Okay. It's a, it's, that's, a, that's a sleeper pick, but I'm down to pick no, it. No, no, I like the hot takes. I like that the For ones sure. that, you know, 100 Thieves is like, they're coming mm -hmm. up. I like it, yeah. I like it. Sí, ahí como ven, nos está diciendo que va a ser Levitan, Energy y 100 Thieves, los tres que clasificarán a Shanghai. Esas son las tomas que tiene Tex. Esto es todo lo que entiendo de la entrevista también. Tex, thank you so much for the interview. Y de vuelta con ustedes, nos vamos a hacer la segunda partida que Crew juega ahora. And I'm here with the man of the hour. It is Aspas, literally, arguably one of the best players in the world. Aspas, do you think you are one of the best players in the world? Uh, I don't think. No, maybe. maybe. I don't know. Maybe. That's fair. That's completely fair. Now, I have to ask you, King was talking about this game being for Tex, you know, revenge for Tex. Was this revenge for Tex, this game? Um, for me, it was another game and um, maybe for text was different but <laughs> it was a fun game and that tough game yeah how was it playing against g2 going to a map three did you expect g2 to be that difficult yeah i always expect everything from the enemy team you can never like go in a match thinking wow it's gonna be easy you can like you need to do the best that you can when you are preparing for a match so you never like look down on your opponents Um, so I learned, you just told me, you got married five months ago, and I was talking to a lot of people. We didn't realize that you're a married man. So talk to me about having the support of that partner, your wife. Oh, it's really important. She is always with me. Uh, like, every day that I have match, 
she cooks something for me because I eat at home with her and she's always support me with everything she's always with me and in every decision that I make she's giving me the support so even if I make something wrong she's there with me oh I love that and very last question Brent and Sai Joe said that Leviathan are making a case for being one of if not the best team in the Americas do you believe that do you believe you're one of the best teams in the Americas right now uh, I don't know. I, I hope so. We are working really hard and I hope we can like make the efforts work. Well, from me to you, you are absolutely fantastic. Your team is absolutely fantastic and the fans absolutely adore you. So thank you so much, Aspas. Literally the record holder. But we're going to go to a break. But stay tuned because we have a heck of a match. It is Crew versus Loud.